This is the Namibian parliament, one of the organs of state where the country's founding constitution was drafted by the 72 members of the Constituent Assembly. At the dawn of Namibia's independence, this monumental building, constructed 106 years ago by the then German colonizers, continues to be the country's legislative chamber. The, the National Assembly has throughout the period since independence endeavors to discharge its mandate in terms of reviewing, repealing, and replacing the apartheid and colonial era laws, which are contrary to the spirit of the aspirations of the Namibian constitution. Both houses of parliament have continued to strive towards effective law-making process and execution of diligent oversight functions through their standing committees. Namibia's parliament has gone a step ahead of its peers on the continent and some the world over in terms of gender relations, but Kachavi says parliament can still do more to achieve 100% gender parity. Without any doubt, the introduction of the 50-50 zebra-style gender representation has placed Namibia amongst the highest-ranking countries when it relates to the gender representation in parliament, and especially the National Assembly. I was looking at the statistics recently uh, provided by the Interparliamentary Union, and it was extremely exciting to see Namibia among the top countries in the world when it comes to gender representation. Now let me continue. However, there is still a room for us to continue this trend to ensure that it is sustained and improved upon. The speaker also touched on the issue of people with special needs, saying more has to be done to make the parliament building more accessible to those with special physical needs. We have not been able to have to do everything as we wish. Now, the question of um, allowing um, of, of using um, sign, language. sign language, it is it. This is something that has been brought to our attention in a very forceful manner, and and is something that we would like to interact with NPC and discuss, uh, have a very important discussion to make sure that it is actually carried out uh, 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 as much as possible when the House is meeting. We need um, uh, sign language to be fully implemented. At the moment, I, I feel we have not done so, and it's something that I can assure you, and I would like to use this opportunity to assure the public that this is something that we want to carry it out this year and have it actually properly introduced and may, may maintained. As founding vice chancellor of the University of Namibia, Professor Kashayi is proud to have played a role in reshaping the university and the entire higher education system in the country. As a founding vice chancellor of the University of Namibia, in short, UNAM. My team and I presided over the transformation of higher education system in the country. Let me <clears throat> remind you that our primary mandate was to ensure that we provide access to high, higher education to as many um, qualified Namibians as possible. He believes it is now up to the current leadership of tertiary institutions to ensure that their training remains in tandem with contemporary needs, especially given the country's recent focus on expanding in the fields of green hydrogen energy and petroleum-based resource exploration. Jeff Tajihomino, NBC News, Vendug.